What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, today we now have WatchOS 9 and this is the first beta. It's available to developer beta testers only and for public beta testers, Apple did highlight that it's going to be available sometime in July. It could be the beginning or the end of July. Now for me here on my Apple Watch Series 7, you can see the update size that it comes in at exactly 1.5 gigs or one and a half gigs. And I was updating from watchOS 8 and this is an Apple Watch Series 7. I would like to think this update size is going to be similar across all your supported devices. And in case you are curious, the supported devices are the Apple Watch Series 4, Series 5, Series 6, and Series 7, as well as the Apple Watch SE. They have discontinued support for the Apple Watch Series 3. And also, in order for you to update your device, you actually need to update your iPhone phone to ios 16 and also for you to be able to update your device to the latest ios you now need an iphone 8 or newer so the iphone 6s as well as the iphone 7 have been discontinued for ios 16 so now in order to get watch os 9 you simply need an iphone 8 or newer and an apple watch series 4 newer now as you can see here on my apple watch it's actually been updated and you can see that your apple watch is now up to date and if we go here you see that you also get a notification that says see what's new in watch os 9 once you do the update so that's the first change and let's quickly go ahead before we go to see you know the new watch faces and so on let's go ahead and see the build number that came with this update because i i highly don't recommend it as it's unstable so if we go to the about this watch section you see the version is watchOS 9 of course and the build number that we have is 20R5287Q. So this has a Q at the end and in terms of stability you know that this is highly unstable. Now in terms of new features and new changes Apple did mention quite a number of things and this is one of those. So if we go to our watch face page here and go all the way to the end you'll be able to see the section for new watch faces and you'll see here that they show three watch faces but if you click there in essence you will see that there's actually about six new watch faces although some of them were existing. So the first one is this astronomy and it basically shows cloud changes. I'll be able to cover all these watch faces later as I get to understand them and use them on a daily basis. So you have astronomy and then you have lunar as well as metropolitan and you have modular and you have playtime. That's the one that I actually have set and you also have portraits now this was existing and if you notice here on portraits you don't have the button to add it and if you click there it basically tells you you know see your favorite portraits photos as a watch face and you can customize and add this on your iphone so i noticed that the rest have the add action button besides them but the portraits doesn't have that so that's something to note and also I just added these watch faces just to show you how they work and the animations they have. So you can see the first one, astronomy. If you click on it, you sort of see the, the clouds movements and where they are located. And it changes uh, during uh, the moment as the earth rotates. And you can see that it says now, and this is what you would see right now. And if you check again, maybe in about four or five hours later, you could be seeing something different. Now also you can see the next watch face. This is Luna and it's basically based on ancient clocks and so on. And this is the, if you click on it, you basically see the way the moon pops out and pops back in. And then if we go to the next watch face, Metropolitan, you see this is how it looks when the risk is lowered. And if you tap it, you see that they come to life. So that's also the Metropolitan. And then you have Modular. Now, this is not typically new. We had, did have Modular Max Duo with WatchOS 8, but this is just a single Modular, in, and that's why it's just called Modular and not Modular Max Duo. 
also if we go here you see that we have playtime now this is basically meant for fun and if you lower your risk like this you see that these items or the time items go to sleep and if you raise your your arm like this you can sort of tap on them and they move around and you know this is just basically play time when your your risk is up and if you lower your risk they go to sleep again if we go to the next section here you see that we have metropolitan now metropolitan is pretty simple similar if you tap it they come back to life and basically those are all the new watch faces and i just wanted to explain why we have the portrait watch face here as a new watch face and the reason is because you can now add pets such as cats and dogs to your portrait watch face so this is not entirely new it just can now detect more items and not just humans only so those are the watch faces that we got with watch os 9 and now next we want to talk about workouts because the apple watch is a device that is typically used for a lot of workouts if you click here and you go to outdoor run i'll be happy to to let you know that now when it comes to outdoor run we have three new running metrics that measure how you run basically and they sort of try out to measure if you are running efficiently they look at the pace they look at the uh, how regular your feet are touching the ground and how your arms are sort of moving side to side and it sort of shows you how you can improve that now i haven't got the time yet to go out and test it out this out so this is something that i might cover beta as we go on through these watch os 9 betas also within the workout app i would like to show you something so if you move your cursor down you will see the regular metrics that we had and if you move down further one more you see that we have heart rate zone now right now you can see my heart zone and it it sort of moves as your uh, beats per minute increase or decrease it looks like this for now because i'm just standing and recording a video i'm not moving much so if i was running you would see my heart rate increase and you will see that this cursor on the zone would start to move around now this is something you can always test out outdoor and run and be able to see how this heart rate zone moves it will show you if it's below zone if it's a normal zone or if it's on the higher end of the zone right there so that's something that's new also now also something that has been updated between this watch os and the previous one is that now you can set multiple uh, workouts and your watch will be able to detect for example when you are doing like an outdoor run just like we were doing right now and then it will be able to detect when you start to do like an outdoor cycle and it will switch over to this workout automatically without you having to touch or move anything and also if you for example go for a swim or you go for an indoor cycle or do another workout it will be able to transition without you having to do much now also i'll be happy to let you know that the fitness app this app that you are seeing here it's now available on all iphones and you don't actually need an apple watch in order to have it on your iphone this is my iphone that has been updated to ios 15 and you will if you search for fitness you'll be able to see that this is the app so if you have an iphone you now have this app once you update to ios 16 and you now don't need an apple watch in order for you to get that app so that's something that's good as you can see when you activate siri you can basically hold the side button or you can say the phrase to activate siri you will see that the new ui or user interface that we have has been updated it looks similar to what we had on the iphone with ios 14 team as that, that's when it was changed from the iphone so that it doesn't take the whole screen it now takes like the small section or lower section of the screen which is something that's good and you can sort of see what you were doing in the background and after some time it does add like a portrait like effect so that you don't get distracted as you see the text there but it's good and also some notifications ui won't take the whole screen where a notification comes in and boom cover 
covers your whole screen but it's something that's going to be improved over time where some if it's a text message it won't cover the whole screen could cover just the top portion of the screen now when it comes to health i'll be happy to let you know that apple did mention that very soon we are going to have the ability to track our afib history or arterial fibrillation history or thanks to the ecg and heart rate sensors that we have in the apple watch so i would believe the way you will be able to do this is to go into your health app and then go to the heart section and go to where it says irregular rhythm notification click there and you'll be able to see your data now for me you can see that it has no data and from apple's wwdc event they did mention that this is pending approval or fda clearance so i think this is not something that's here fully but once it's approved further for more regions then we will be able to see our data here as you can see that the last sample collected and analyzed was today at 11 after 14:35, but i have no data so that could be what they were referring to and if you want to read more about afib you can always see that and by the way when you go to sharing you will see a new splash screen within your health app so that is something that's good and also apple did mention something about medication history so maybe there's going to be a new app that is called medication and that's going to be like on the iphone and apple watch where you can use the camera on your iphone to basically scan medication that could be prescribed and then you get the notifications of when to take your medication and what to not mix it with once you are taking that medication so that you don't have any problems so that is something i believe that is coming later on as we go on through this beta stages now there's also an accessibility that's going to be coming to the apple watch very soon where you can basically a mirror your apple watch to your iphone and this is unfortunately going to be supported from the apple watch series 6 and later and the way you'll be able to do this is basically highlighted on this website or the newsroom section where apple basically highlights how this uh, a play mirroring for apple watch is going to work you can use the camera on your iphone to be able to also detect other things such as doors for those that need assistant at identifying certain objects and need to see what's on the apple watch on a bigger screen so that is something that we're going to be seeing as time progresses now as you can see here if i go into my application section here and go to the podcast app you'll be able to see that we now have an updated podcast app and we have the ability to search so you can now search for certain podcasts for example mkbhd and then you can search and it will show you what it has found you know related to that podcast and very soon with family sharing you'll be able to share uh, certain privileges within the podcast app to kids once you have it set up on your iphone for family sharing that is something that's good now there's also something that has been improved when it comes to the calendar app if we go to the calendar app right here and go to like a specific month you can see today is the sixth but let's say for example we want the 30th so we just have to click on the week that has the 30th and then you can sort of see the days now you can customize these and you can move back and forth but if you click on the 30th you will see that there's no event for june 30 but if you want to click an event you can create a new event right there and you'll be able to you know change different settings but it's good to see that apple is now giving us the ability to not just view the dates or upcoming events in the calendar but we now have the ability to add events right from the apple watch by just tapping on the week that has the date that you want to customize and then you look for the date and click on it and you'll be able to add an event that is amazing also if you have smart home devices like smart keys and so on that you want to share uh, within your home app now you can do so with iWatchOS 9 and iOS 16 you have to grant the privileges and be able to share those home access keys for your kids as you can see i don't have any devices but if you do that's something that you can always look out
We also have cross device connection between the Apple Watch and the Apple TV. So now you can basically, you know, have these devices communicate often and you can set up a communication between the Apple Watch and the TV. You, and you can see that to add an Apple TV third generation or order, go to the settings and then go to general and remote. And you'll be able to do some more things unlike what you were able to do before. So this is not something I've tested in detail but it's also good to know that this is there now also if you type quite a lot on your apple watch and you use the query keyboard i'll be happy to let you know that now it supports more uh, languages you can basically set up your keyboard to support like languages such as french german italian japanese Portuguese and Spanish so that is something that's good and dictation will also work for those languages which is amazing now the other thing that I want to show you here if you go into your reminders app and click on the reminders you can see you know for example I'll go to this that has six reminders and if I click on this one you can see that I now have the ability to edit reminders right from my Apple watch without having to use my iPhone so that is something that's new also and it has been updated with watchOS 9 and as you can see there's a lot of things that has been updated with watchOS 9 some new watch faces and also some new settings as well as new features as we go on of course i'll be able to explain these in detail and in separate videos such as the watch faces and so on but again this is a beta that just came out if you're a public beta or you want to wait for the public beta of this update it's coming out next month and for the official release it's coming on later on in the year in the fall so that's about it for me guys when it comes to this watch os 9 let me know what you think about this video and if i missed something interesting then please do comment it below and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace